today we're going to talk about using a burette for the first time. So when you have a burette, if it's empty, I'm going to first show you how we want to make sure that we fill it. So whenever you have a burette that's empty, you can assume that the last group might not have cleaned it out 100%. So if you have an empty burette, the first thing you want to do is you want to rinse it with some distilled water. So what we do is we put some distilled water in there. We make sure that the stopcock is closed, meaning that it's perpendicular, not parallel, but perpendicular to the burette. And then you don't have to add that much. Notice that I just added it until it reaches the 50 milliliter mark right here. So I didn't add very much to it, but now what I can do is I can just kind of turn it sideways. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of coating the burette with my water, and then I'm pouring it out. And you want to do this two to three times. And you can kind of spin it. See how I'm spinning it when I'm doing this. You can also let some of it out through the tip to make sure that it's, it's coming out. Also, when you turn it upside down, you can also open it so it comes out through the tip this way. And we can do that just a couple times, two to three times, just to make sure that it's a nice, clean burette. And it's helpful to have this end over the sink like I'm doing this, so that as you're doing it, if some of it does drop out, it goes into the sink and not on your lab partner or on your books. Well, your iPad. So, that's the first thing we do, is we make sure that we have a nice, clean bur burette by rinsing it two to three times with DI water. Notice I didn't fill this all the way to the top with water. That's just a waste of water. So, now what we want to do is we want to have a little bit of NaOH in there. 